Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Panzer 6 Welcome to Let's Talk. If you're not familiar with Let's Talk, Let's Talk is a series where I talk about myself, things that's going on around me, and just things I might find interesting that really has nothing to do with gaming. Um, but if you guys have been following me on Facebook or Twitter or even watching my streams, last night you may have noticed, well, actually last couple days, you may have noticed me kind of more depressed than usual. And I'll get to that. I'll get to that because this is this is kind of a special um, let's talk, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. I'm not gonna get overly sappy, and I'll try not to shed tears because I don't want to do that to you guys. So a couple days ago, um, I had a we, me and my fiance, we have a kitten. We had two kittens actually. Um, they were born on her birthday. So so what happened? There was four of them that was born. Two of them didn't make it on birth, and we had two, a white one and a black one, which we named the black one Rolly and the white one Polly. And um, <laughs> so, you know, we, I, we basically took these cats in and just took care of them and did our best to help them out. And um, just the other day, well, let, let's rewind a little bit further. So um, I made a video about this. Um, so two weeks in... Uh, Polly, she's a runt at this point. She's smaller than Rolly. Rolly's a chunk at this point. Um, and Rolly's got his eyes open, well, her eyes, and Polly doesn't. So I applied hot compressions because I noticed some crust on her eyes and kind of wanted to help her out. So she finally opened her eyes and my hands. It was one of the greatest moments. I, I literally bust out crying because I've been having a rough couple weeks because um, I'm out of my medicine um, and I'm waiting for my insurance to kick in so I can get this medicine because it's very expensive. Um, and a few other things. Um, and I won't get into that because it's a little way too personal. Um, but <clears throat> a week later, it's about maybe two weeks. I think they've been to get alive completely for about a month. Um, we noticed that Polly, um, she's not getting any bigger. Um, she's having a harder time breathing, and she wouldn't eat. So I called a vet and see if there's anything we could possibly do to get things fixed. Well, as a person that doesn't have you know a ton of money, especially in my job. Um, they said, you know, we'd have to pay like so much up front to even be seen. And I, I was like, well, I don't really have that. Can you give me some kind of um, help uh, or anything like that? So we wasn't able to find help. But the same day that we called in for the vet, and, you know, we thought she was going to be fine the prior day before. She was uh, eating and, you know, she was being herself. And I don't know what happened overnight, but she she wouldn't move. Uh, you'd pick her up. She would open her eyes and she'd start to meow, but nothing would come out. She'd just open her mouth. Um, and we kind of nursed her a little bit, tried to feed her. Um, we gave her some milk and nothing, nothing would happen. So uh, I had to go to um, uh, out in town for a little bit. So I came back. And, you know, Nikki and I were sitting on the couch and um, we noticed at this point the breathing was getting softer. And um, my fiance looks at me, she's like, I don't think she's going to make it. Within a minute or two, she takes her last breath right in front of us. And I just, I was so tore up. And she was too. I'm not, I, I don't want to say it was just me, but it was both of us. But I took her so hard. I, I don't think I've cried that hard probably since my grandma died. And I know that sounds weird. A lot of people say animals are just animals, but a lot of people don't understand that, you know, people can be attached to animals, uh, their companions, and especially, you know, I, I, I'm a 29-year-old man. I, I'd love to have kids, but I don't think I'll ever, I don't know if I'll be able to have kids. And, you know, I love kids. Um, I guess we kind of took her, took them in as our own, try to help them, protect them, and stuff like that. And it just was overwhelming. And on top of that, like this week, found out that um, 
a, a kid that I um, went to high high school with. He was in our band. He wasn't in our high school. He was in another school um, within the county, but he was in the band I was in. And we found out that he committed suicide by hanging. And, you know, the medicine thing, um, the job stuff, which, you know, I'm thankful to have a job, but, you know, I'm 29 years old and not exactly where I want to be in the financial situation, um, which things will get better. I, I think it will. Um, you know, I, I talked a while back about religion and stuff like that. And, you know, it, it does make me feel a lot better um, to pray and stuff and pray and talk to people that, you know, that's also in the same religion. Um, <laughs> but it made me feel a whole lot better. And I'm not, I'm not going to get into that with you guys. I'm sure it may turn a lot of people away, so we won't get, go that route. But I just want you guys to know, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a cat, dog, you know, ferret, bird, whatever. Um, a lot of you may, may have these pets and you take care of them. Uh, they make you happy because pets, pets in general, you, you walk through the door on your, when you get home, they're usually surprised to see you. They want, you know, to give you attention and make you feel really good. No matter, they, I mean, they might not know that you've had a bad day. Uh, we don't know that. Um, a lot of people say they may or may not, but I, I think animals as a whole, they do have a sense of conscience. Um, and they, they, they're here for a reason. Um, and they help you. And that's how I felt about the kittens. And luckily, Rolly's still alive, doing well, uh, really healthy. And I buried Polly under a really nice tree in a field. Um, and I put her in this little box that had, like, um, <laughs> some, it's really soft. And I, I know it sounds really stupid. Um, if some people think about it, I, you know, but I, I don't care about that. I, I really, really, really love that cat, <laughs> and I don't know. It just tore me up a whole lot more than um, I think possible. Um, now, like I said before, I, I you know I'm 29 years old. I'm not exactly where you know I was hoping to be. You know, when I got out of high school, you know, I was thinking I've got this whole world right in front of me. Let's tackle it, but. You guys are going to find out if you're just coming out of high school or um, if you're the same age as I am, you know, a lot of people's going to find out the world will kick you right in the ass. Um, it's true. It's definitely true. I mean, we make decisions every day. And there goes my <laughs> phone. <laughs> we make these decisions every day in our lives. Some good, some bad, and some come back to haunt us. And um, I always looked at my life as I want to help people out. I, I did, I did my best to help people out. But sometimes people take advantage of you. And that's kind of what happened to make us move to Illinois in the first place was one to do was one of to Illinois, you know, maybe a couple of years down the road after we got married and hopefully find a good job. But, you know, we had a couple of people that came in uh, we, we allowed them to stay with us for um, a while, and they said they would pay us everything. And, you know, and we ended up losing our butts on it. And we're losing, we're still today, we're trying to recover, uh, pick up the pieces, because they just wouldn't pay anything. Um, and the sad thing is, the per one of the people that was with us, they committed suicide, which is insanely terrible. Um, you know, I, I wish I was things we I could have done different. You know, I, I, I love to help people again. I love helping people and it, it makes me feel so bad that, you know, people take their lives um, with not thinking about the repercussions of uh, what's the people around them. Um, you know, if, if my financial state was better, they, they would have been able to stay and I would have gave them a break, but there's no way we could have because our brand at the time was like, it's almost a thousand dollars a month and top utilities and everything. And I, you know, I had a pretty decent job and, you know, I've been the last couple of years, had a lot of issues with my health and, um, yesterday I decided, you know, enough's enough. Uh, it's time to go ahead and, 
start dieting. So that's the plan is uh, start dieting, exercising, uh, going on walks. And, you know, I'm, I'm making progress. Let's just say this. Uh, whenever I started work, <laughs> I, I haven't done anything physical, no physical work for years because all my jobs have mainly just been office work. You know, I had my own office where I was at at and in a cubicle. Um, and I just sit there and just sit there all day long and do nothing. So that takes a, that really does take a toll on somebody. Uh, and in my first day at Walmart, I was so exhausted. And uh, it's I'm getting used to the point to just standing around, um, walking around, grabbing stuff, more physical stuff. I'm feeling a whole lot better about that. My body's adjusting. Um, it, but the one thing it's not adjusting is the... Um, the medicine situation, which hopefully, hopefully soon we can get that taken care of, because oh man, I, I tell you it's rough. It's rough. People say that anxiety and depressions, you know, not real, real problems, but you have no clue. You have no clue. Um, it makes you emotional too. Like I, I've noticed, I've, I've just been in an emotional lately. It's been crazy. But you know, this week too. Um, which I don't, I don't want to give too much information, but there's a, there's something that I'm probably not going to have anymore, and I have to get a new one. So let's not, well, you can kind of put two and two together, um, but that's part of the, you know, not having the money to do things because we're still recovering from what happened to us. Which I, I, I you know, I see things getting better. It's going to get better, way better. Um, Maybe this time next year we can have this conversation, and I'll be totally be, be a totally different thing. I could have a really good job, um, caught up. Um, you know, I'm having to. I have to file Chapter Seven. I have no point at this point. But get rid of all the debt, reset button. That's what I'm going to have to do. And you know, I'm not too ashamed of it because um, there's a lot of people that's in the same boat as I am. And they've had to do these things, and I'd rather, you know, get rid of all this debt because I'll never ever be able to afford it, afford to pay it. Um, and it's, it sucks. It does suck because I, you know, I was hoping at this point in my life I'd have awesome job. I've got two classes left, of two or four, I think, to finish my bachelor's degree, and can't get the funds to do that because uh, I ran out of financial aid. But, but once we, once I get to the point, once everything's caught up. I plan on finishing that, and um, things will get better. Things will start rolling. Uh, Nikki and I are getting married. That's exciting. Um, we haven't picked a date out right now because um, we both decided the best bet is kind of save some money, uh, get better financially, and I don't know. So, like I said, maybe next time, maybe next year about this time, uh, we'll save the date 525 2015. So 525 2015. I want you guys to remind me of this too. Um, we're going to go ahead and make another Let's Talk video and we're going to talk about this. See where I am, see where you know Nikki and I are, and um, hopefully by that time I'll be a whole lot smaller. And um, yeah, you never know. But guys, uh, thank you for hanging out with me for about 15 minutes here. Sorry, it was a little bit more sappy than usual, and I do apologize. But if you guys have, you know, if you guys have pets, and or you have stories about your pets, let me know in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear hear what you guys think about them. If you ever lost one, um, I, I'd like to hear about it because it, you know, it, I think it would be great to hear stuff like that, and maybe we can share some stories. And you can always message me as well, you know, on. YouTube, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Just if you're having some problems in your life, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not having the best time right now, but I could definitely, you know, try to help you out, um, try to talk to you, um, because I think that will help help us all out in the end. But hey guys, again, remember the little things in life. Don't take advantage of them because you never know when they're going to be gone. And just take care of, you know anything that comes your way you know just be respectable to others and just remember those things because um, at the end of your life you're going to be 
notice for these things because you know whenever we look at tombstones um, at a graveyard you know you always see day born day to death well those two dates don't really matter at all they, they, they don't the thing that matters the most is that little little dash in between and I know it's an old country song so but it's true it's true it doesn't matter what day you was born or what day you died what really matters is what you done in between that time frame you know how how your actions affected other people's lives um, how good you are to people um, and if you're religious um, you know where you stand with God and I, I, I'm telling you now um, and like I said I'm not going to press it on you guys but the day I went to church and well I the day I gave myself over to God um, it felt great and then, you know the last few a couple of months though I've I felt like I was falling apart again falling back but it took me until to this moment um, I realized that you know I'm falling away all these bad things are happening to me so you know I started praying again I felt a whole lot better about it and if you like if that's something if you you know love God that's cool that's really cool and just kind of keep on trucking I guess <laughs> but again sorry about that sorry I did let that go it was not planned but again guys be sure to hit like and subscribe I love you guys and also if you get a chance I haven't said this in a while check out the bits and pieces thing um, I could definitely use the help I really would love to get this thing kicking off uh, not only will it help me out financially um, but it will also allow me and other gamers um, to help out people um, that suffer from anxiety, depression, neglect, anything like that. Um, so let's get this thing kicking off. I hope it does. If not, um, it wasn't meant to be, but we'll definitely try. We're definitely going to try. Um, I launched a Kickstarter a while back, and I'll put both links in the description below. But like I said, as always, I'm never asking you guys for money. But if you do pay money to do this, um, you, there's there's a thing I plan on doing is um, the more people that um, any backers either on Kickstarter or GoFundMe, uh, I plan on getting a big frame, and I'm gonna have the names of every single person that um, donated. So that's something uh, it'll be really cool. It'll stay on the wall. Um, and it'll be forever, you know, people will know that these people did such a good, great thing and helped me out. And I'll always see that and see that list of people that shown that they really care and want things like this in gaming. So, but again, sorry for rambling. I keep on saying I'm done, but I, it's like a Lord of the Rings 3. I say I'm done, then four endings later. But be sure to hit like and subscribe. I love you. And... Take it easy, and I'll see you later this week with some gameplay videos. And there we go.